Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. Today I want to talk about import session data, which if you ever worked with Pro Tools, you'll be familiar with. Now in Reaper, we don't really need import session data because we have project tab. Open another project in my tabs, and then I can always copy whatever I want from here, whether it be tracks or items or whatever. Come here and paste it. And now I have the same tracks, the same items in the same place. Even if I want to copy my markers, I can always open the region marker manager, which which I set a hotkey for and then I can click on all of them. I can go export regions and markers, export it as a CSV and then go over here, right click and import those things. And I can merge them with existing markers on my track or just replace them. But also there's a way of doing the whole thing in one, the MPL import session data. So I get this menu and then destination is where the project will be copied to, source is what project we're copying from. So if you have two tabs open, it would already have this set up otherwise you just click on them and browse through your computer to get to where you want to get this is also useful if your project for some reason isn't opening it's crashing your reaper or something you can always boot it up with the effects offline or you can try this so for example I don't need to get the raw data I can just kind of get the track with the items here I can also import my master effects chain I can have my tempo and time signature envelopes showing I can show my markers and my regions here basically the way it works is one to one so there are these tracks and it's actually doing a really good job of kind of finding similar name tracks in case I want to import that way but if you don't want to you can always say new track at the end of playlist you can also always come to menu and go mark all source tracks for import to new track and yeah that's it I hope you enjoyed this video tomorrow there won't be a rapid fire reaper tutorial because I'll be making the second episode of the sound design video so I'll see you guys on Thursday